Welcome to the beta release of the Deep Lab Cut Model Zoo. In this video, I'll show you how to use Google Collaboratory to analyze your dog or cat video in under five minutes. As you saw, I simply launched the notebook by clicking on the blue button on the website. I made sure I was connected to a runtime, had access to a GPU, and then you simply can start clicking through the notebook to get everything installed and upload your video. Once you have your video uploaded, now you can set these variables, namely your project folder name, your name, the model to use, which you can look up on our website of the currently available models, the video type, then we'll import Deep Lab Cut, you optionally can download sample a video, which is a good idea if you have a very large video, like something from an iPhone. Then, follow the instructions, update the video path if necessary, run the cell, and you'll see that the model is beginning to download from our Harvard server. In addition to the weights being downloaded, we're now creating a full Deep Lab Cut project, which you can download for future use. But right now you can look in the file browser to the left, click refresh, and you'll see this project created, it's going to extract the posters from the video and we'll begin to look at the results. So I let this video play just to show you how long it actually takes in reality. So it's not very long. You can go back to the file browser, navigate to this project, open it up. You'll see the videos folder now with the analyzed files, namely the H5 and a CSV file, and the label video, which we can download and quickly look at. Now what I'll show you is that even though your project is completed and you could download it at this state, there's some advanced options that you can utilize. So if you delete the video, right-click, delete, then you can set things like the dot size and the color map and the cutoff. Note that you can use any map plot lit color map at this point. Also, you can set the P cutoff. For those of you that might not be familiar with the software, this just tells the plotting function to only include points in the video with a threshold above 50% confidence by the deep neural network. And now in the next cell, what we'll do is we'll just pass the project folder name that you set it so you can look in the navigation to find this to make sure it's set correctly. Then we're going to set the full file path, filter the predictions, and create a new video with these. Now you'll notice that you have two new files, an H5 and a CSV with your filter predictions, which will be used to create the labeled video with the specified points, P cutoff, and color map that you set above. Now, just to show you one more time, you can of course delete this created video, reset anything that you like, namely maybe the dot size, as it was a little too small, so they plotted the squares, or the color map, let's pick something a little more festive, spring. We hope this video is helpful, and happy deep web cutting.